Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, everybody. Get in here. Are you curious about the title of this periscope? I'll wait for a moment before I launch into it. I like to have at least a thousand people on here to know you're serious. Um, <laughs> yes, you are curious. So, as you know, uh, Google recently uh, did. And I have to warn you, there's a very high likelihood there will be some cursing involved in this. <laughs> I'm going to try not to, but I'm not sure I can hold it in. And I need, an, I need a second opinion on this. So I'm using you all as my, sort of my, uh, let's say, my regulator. I, I want to find out if I'm overreacting. Okay. So you know that Google was recently called in front of Congress to uh, ask about, among other things, their, their bias in terms of being anti-conservative. Uh, you may or may not know that I'm not a conservative, but I talk about President Trump all the time. And I guess that's enough. I guess that's enough. So somebody alerted me to this fact. If you go to Google right now and you Google my name, do you know what comes up? Well, I'll show it to you. So there's three, several pictures here on this little slider. First three are just, uh, well, the first three are just ordinary pictures. But the fourth and the fifth are photoshopped pictures of me wearing Nazi uniform. Now, these are real pictures that people have memed up on, on Twitter and somewhere else. But here's the thing. If you click through to those pictures, they are the least smallest, most minor mention of me compared to everything I've been doing for years. So um, I'm asking myself, and then I'm, I'm going to ask you as well. Do you think, given that, um, so one of these clicks through, one of the pictures of me wearing a photoshopped Nazi uniform. If you click through, it goes to a fake Twitter account that's pretending to be me that has only 15 followers. Do you think that a fake Twitter account with 15 followers would have enough traffic that Google's algorithm would pick that of all the pictures there are of me? There are a lot of pictures of me in the public domain and in, in articles. I was probably in, I don't know, 25 major articles last year alone. And this one little 15 user fake Twitter account is the fourth image that comes up. And then the fifth image is, you know, another Photoshop of me in a Nazi uniform. And if you click on that, it goes to this tiny little blog-like thing that doesn't even have this picture. This picture isn't even on the site that it connects to. And it's the tiniest little site I'd never seen before. Is there any chance in the whole fucking world that Google is not trying to ruin my life? Am I overreacting? Is there even the smallest chance that Google isn't trying to fuck my whole life right in public. Now, I'm open to the possibility. I'm open to the possibility that this is accidental. But I don't think so. And don't you think I need an explanation from Google? Perhaps their CEO. This is criminal, in my opinion. It might not technically be illegal, but in terms of yeah, how messed up it is to use a word that I'm seeing through. It's criminal. Now, it's criminal in, you know, in impact. Um, <clears throat> now, here's the thing. I'm spending a good deal of my time trying to make the world a better place in a variety of ways. One of those ways is helping the, the uh, you know, the urban areas. And if there's anything that I can do to make race relations better, etc., I'm all in. 
Most of you have been watching me long enough to know that that's, that's a true statement. So this is not only uh, awful behavior that will haunt me for the rest of my life, because these pictures never go away. That's what's going to come up if you Google it. And even when people say, ha ha, I know it's a joke, it's still kind of out there, right? No, I don't know if it legally crosses any line for defamation or anything else. But if it doesn't go away in a week or so, I'll give them some time. I'm sure people, there must be Google people watching this, uh, watching this. If it doesn't go away, I'm going to react. I'm going to give us some time because I know that the last thing I want to do is act on something when I'm as angry as I am now. And by the way, this is the most angry you've ever seen me. I'm doing everything I can to hold it in. All right. If it doesn't change on its own, because I'm sure people will hear about it, I'm sure it'll become a story. I'm sure Google, Google will hear about it by the time I'm done with this. If it doesn't change, don't I have to assume that it's intentional and malicious and that one of the biggest companies in the world has targeted me personally for destruction? How in the world could I think otherwise? Give me any other explanation that could explain this. Somebody says 48-hour rule. It's a good rule, right? 48 hours. I'm going to wait 48 hours. Now, I've asked, um, I, I reported the Twitter account to Twitter. So uh, I, I imagine Twitter doesn't look at every single account. So until it's reported, nobody has a reason to take it down. But now I've reported it. Now, I don't have a beef with Twitter about this particular thing because I've reported it and it hasn't been long enough. Maybe they'll just take it down. Uh, obviously, they should. It, you know, if It would fit their rules because it's somebody impersonating me. And it doesn't have a parody on it. I think it's just impersonating me. So, but Google's got some explaining because I don't know if there's even a technique uh, is there a way to report something on Google Images? Is that a thing? If there is, I'll do that. Uh, but I don't know if that's a thing. Um, what can we do to help you? Well, I'm looking for an opinion. Is there anybody watching this who thinks that this could be organic? Um, because it might be. You know, I, I, if there's anything... If there's anything that I've taught you consistently, if you're watching my periscopes, it's that sometimes you can't imagine what the actual explanation is, and they're just ordinary explanations for stuff. So it's good to wait 48 hours, somebody gives you a better explanation, somebody clarifies, maybe it wasn't what you thought it was. But given that Google was just in front of Congress for this sort of thing, uh, you have to ask the question. Uh, hire Dershowitz. I don't think Alan Dershowitz works on cases like this. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to make a decision about what to do about it for 48 hours. I will say, I'm really the last person you'd want to piss off. <laughs> If there's anybody in the world that you'd want to piss off, I'd be about last on that list. Because <laughs> I'm relentless. But uh, is there anybody on here who can talk me out of this? Can anybody give me even, even a suggestion that this is not intentional? Because I don't see it. I don't see it. It looks intentional to me, but I like to be talked out of it. All right. That is all I wanted to say on this, uh, on this periscope. And I swear this is changing my behavior. 
Uh, when do you, oh, I only noticed it uh, today. Somebody, uh, apparently if you Google me in Europe, those pictures come up even closer to the top. So in Europe, I'm even more of a Nazi, apparently. Teach you how to fight Google. <laughs> Trust me, if, if these pictures are still up on Google in a week, I am going full out on Google. <laughs> Google does not know what's coming. Uh, I could make more trouble for Google than they've ever had in the history of their company, and and would absolutely would. They they just won't know it's coming from me. So, uh, but I don't want to assume yet. Don't want to assume. We'll give them forty eight hours. I'll give them a week. I'll check back with you in a week, and I'll let you know. Uh, how embarrassing to be Google right now. I mean, just the fact, even if this is just accidental, even if their algorithm just sort of accidentally kicked up these images, anything's possible, right? Even if it's accidental, how embarrassing to be management of Google right now, to literally be be serving up pictures of, of someone who's fighting for uh, some kind of a better world for everybody as an actual fucking Nazi. <laughs> it's funny, I've got more traffic on this on this periscope than I've had on anything uh, recently. Uh, people like to see me angry. Um, I'm not sure you should encourage that. It's not a good look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Google buys more ink by the barrel than I do. Um, how embarrassing for Google. I mean, seriously, this is really embarrassing for them. I mean, for me, it's bad, but I, you know, I'm, I'm a public figure and I'm u- sort of used to this sort of stuff. But how embarrassing for them. All right. That's it. That's all I got to say. I will talk to you later.